Have you ever heard the phrase, better late than never? Well, perhaps that would be an apt description of this video. In reality, what I'm thinking here is, in case you're wondering why this video is coming now, the Fold 4 is coming out very, very soon in August, so like next month, and the Fold 3 is likely to get a lot of price drops around that same time. So a lot of people may be looking at the Fold 3 as a new phone to potentially be buying at that reduced price, and perhaps they want to know how that camera compares to the Surface Duo 2. So in this video, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go back and forth, shot for shot, Duo 2 versus Z Fold 3. A friend of mine who happens to own a Z Fold 3 agreed to meet up with me at a local park here in Knoxville. We took some pictures and now we're gonna look at them. All right, we have a whole album to look at. It is very, very green in nature. Now, one thing I'm not gonna be able to show you is low light. We didn't have a ton of time and it was not dark enough to do anything low light. I would assume the Z Fold 3 is going to take the cake in low light pretty darn handily. I actually just posted a video not that long ago talking about the most recent Surface Duo 2 update and I showed off low light versus the Z Fold 2. Probably going to be a really similar story there. But let's look at these pictures. So this first one here was taken on the Surface Duo 2 and I think that overall it is a pretty decent picture. We have maybe some overexposure down here in the grass nearest to us as this does clear up a bit, a little bit of overexposure, but it's a very bright, sunny day. Let's zoom in here in the middle and see what kind of detail we have here on the water from this fountain. Overall, I think this is a pretty passable image. Let's look at the Z Fold 3, and it's a really, really similar shot. I think that the biggest thing that, that the Z Fold 3 changes is just the color temperature. It is a lot greener, it is a lot more saturated, and I think it's a little bit cooler. Not a ton, but it looks a little cooler to me. Let's look at the exposure down here in this grass again it's maybe a little bit better there as well so probably a bit better exposed let's look at the detail in the in the water here on this fountain really really similar in terms of detail let's look at the shadows over here do we have any kind of grain any kind of noise going on there that's what we look like on the fold on the duo is it any better any worse it's pretty darn similar to me so on this one exposure and saturation i think are the two defining factors so moving on to image number two, it should really go to say something that on a couple of these, I actually have had to double check to make sure that I'm going Duo 2 first because the images are so similar. This Duo 2 image is really good. I think we have a lot of really good detail. The exposure looks nice. The color reproduction is very, very accurate. It's a really good looking shot on the Z Fold 3. What do you see? Well, I see a whole lot more green. Samsung's color science they love saturation, they love to push that up, and they're doing it a ton here. I would actually say this is not realistic. This is what it looked like, that is not what it looked like. This is way, way greener than what my eyes had visually saw, but at any rate, the detail, the level of detail, really, really similar between the two. Does, there, uh, does the Z Fold 3 have some exposure issues up here very, very close to the camera? Maybe a little bit. Did Duo 2 suffer from the same problem here? I don't think that it did, not to the same degree. So in this instance, it's really the same thing, guys. It's that saturation. Image number three here using the wide angle. I should have actually mentioned the first shot, I believe, was also on the wide angle, but we are definitely on the wide angle. Now, Duo 2 first. This is a pretty nice image. Let's look at the sort of fringing here on the edges. This is something you're going to get with a wide angle shot. What kind of exposure in here, the detail in the middle and the darker part of this tree. Get a good look at this the exposure over here. It's pretty bloomy. It's pretty overexposed looking a little soft in that corner on the Z Fold 3. It is definitely much more saturated. Let's go over here. Probably not as blown out and bloomy looking over there. The detail in the middle of the tree is uh, pretty similar, right? Maybe a little bit lighter, maybe a little bit more detail here versus here. Yeah, I'd say that that's probably fair. So I think Duo is probably a little bit darker and a little bit less detailed, definitely way less saturated. I do want to take a brief moment, though, and point something out. If you like that oversaturated look, you can always go in and effectively do this. Let's go to the color here and let's just pump up the saturation a bit. And you're going to find that you're going to have an image that is going to look really, really similar at that point. I mean, they're, they're going to be hard to distinguish between the two just from doing that. That's something I think that's worth pointing out. 
So this next image is using the 2X telephoto, and I'm actually pretty pleased with how Duo 2 has done here as well. We have that same really bright light coming down in the grass, just making this a little bit overexposed, but the detail is pretty good here, right? I think this looks pretty solid. The color reproduction as well is pretty consistent here on Fold 3. Same thing, we are pumping up that saturation, but it definitely does do a better job with the exposure in these really bright areas. Look how kind of blown out this is. This is a little bit blown out. This is much more contrasty and I feel like exposed better. Again, the detail is gonna be really, really similar saturation pumped up through the roof. Moving on to the next image, we went ahead and went all the way in 10X on both devices. So let's look here and look there. Do those look like the same image to you almost? So at 10X, not a big difference. They both look quite bad in my opinion. Probably don't do a 10X zoom on either one of these phones, but just for posterity, there you go. That's what they look like. This is a really interesting one, and I think that it really points out the difference in color science and in the just overall ISP, the image signal processing strategies of both devices. I really like this picture on Surface Duo 2. We are nice and we are in focus. It did not have any issue focusing on this. It looks really good. Lots of clarity, lots of natural bokeh. This is not portrait mode. We are just up very close. On Fold 3, look at the difference in the color. It is so much warmer. It is so much more saturated that it really doesn't look like the same shot at all. It is such a different looking picture. And once again though, we can go in and we can very, very quickly pump up the warmth a little bit, pump up the saturation a little bit, and do we have at that point the exact same image? I mean, it's really, really similar at that point, but it's really cool to see the difference in the different strategies, the way that these things are actually producing their images and how wildly different the results can be. Here's another one done with the 2X telephoto. Looking at the trees down here on the edges, what kind of detail do we have as that clears up? Looking at the actual uh, tower itself, what kind of details are the shadows? Are we gonna be able to pull any detail out of these bits here on the Fold 3? Let's find out. Definitely a lot brighter exposed down here. Maybe a bit more detail because of that. Really similar though in terms of detail up here. No real information to be resolved from that. I did not quite get the pictures exactly the same, so it's possible the exposure is because we just got more of the trees. I think these shots are really similar. And we got this gymnasium, this jungle gym, whatever you want to call it here at the end. Let's zoom into some of the detail. Can we look at some of the little rivets? holding this thing together. I'm sure those are not actually rivets, but you know what I mean, the colors here, how do they look? And if we reproduce this on the Fold 3, it looks a little bit warmer, a little bit more saturated. Detail is extraordinarily similar. What about in terms of selfie slash portraits? This is a portrait selfie using the primary sensor on Surface Duo 2. And I think it does a pretty good job. I have long hair and that makes the cutout very hard. You can see here, I lost a strand of hair, but otherwise pretty good detail. You got the beard hair test going on. The colors look quite natural. I think this is totally passable. On the fold, I actually really don't like this picture at all. I think the cutout looks really unnatural. It is too blurry. And I know that you can go in and you can turn this down, but we're just going with what comes directly out of the camera. I don't like that at all. That This looks weird to me. This looks like I was like uh, green screened into something. It's very, very strange. It, it is detailed, right? Like it does look good in terms of detail and color is nice and punchy. I do not like the way that portraits are done on the Samsung devices though. Going to the front facing selfie camera in portrait mode, this is Duo 2. And I think I was moving a little bit when I was hitting the, the volume down button to take the picture. I think I shifted a little bit. So there's a little bit of like a uh, motion blur to it, but the cutout looks pretty similar. The details look pretty good. It is what it is. It's a fine selfie on the fold. You've got some haziness going on, right? And that is to be expected on this device. But the cutout, I think, looks way better. I don't know what was going on in that other cutout, but this, I still think I like this better than this, but this is not as bad as the first one. I don't quite look like I was green screened on. Detail is okay. I do think it is a little bit worse than on Duo, but again, is what it is. This is the device we're talking about. On Duo 2 non-portrait mode, it's fine. It's it's nice and colorful, but it's not oversaturated. Details the same as it was before. On the fold, 
we got some haziness, right? We're hazy and we lose a little bit of detail because of that selfie camera. All right, we are comparing the video performance here. We're in full HD, 30 FPS. I should be panning back and forth between the two audio sources between the Fold 3 and the Duo 2. Note pretty much everything. Note your detail, your exposure, your stabilization or lack thereof in the case of Duo 2. So what's my verdict here? What do I think overall? I do think that for me, the fold is oversaturating things just a little bit. I'd like to see it pull the saturation down a little bit more. I actually don't remember my fold 2 saturating things quite this much, but man, the fold 3, maybe it did, but the fold 3 is really cranking out those colors and I wish it would come down a little bit. Otherwise, the fold consistently had a little bit better exposure. We were in very bright light with some shadows and the fold seemed to have a better time with that. Now, there were a couple of instances where the Duo actually did a better job with those exposures, but by and large, the Fold did a little bit better job. Now, the biggest thing that I want to point out to you is that this is a camera system that someone like MKBHD said was a 3 out of 10 camera system. I would argue, based on that, if the Duo 2 is a 3 out of 10 camera system, then the Fold 3 might be, what, a 4 out of 10? I think both of those scores are absolutely ridiculous, and I'm not going to assign actual numbers to them like that. But clearly, if you're calling that a 3 out of 10, then you're also going to be calling the Fold a pretty darn bad camera system as well. I just don't think that that is the case. I think that they're both quite serviceable. I think Duo 2 does a pretty good job there. Now, on video, yeah, it's uh, video... You you want to call the video a 3 out of 10? I'm not really going to argue with you. The stabilization has got to get fixed, and I don't know what they're doing with this, why it's not better than it is. They've got to do something. The stabilization makes the camera, if you're moving at all, it's effectively unusable. Now, if you can set it up like its own tripod in like laptop mode, then it's fine. It's, it's whatever. But video, yeah, that's not great. But as far as actual photography, be it wide angle, telephoto, or standard, Duo 2 holds its own with Z Fold 3 in pretty much every single image with only a few small caveats. I think this is quite impressive. One of those caveats, of course, being low light. That's another place where the Fold 3 would probably take quite a handy lead, but that's kind of a fringe case as well. How often are you using night mode? That's something you have to decide. If that's a big thing for you, take a lot of night mode pictures, you're some kind of creepy stalker person maybe, I don't know, probably go with the Fold 3, the phone of choice for stalkers. So let me know in the comments down below what you think of this. Which camera do you think did the best job? Are you surprised with Duo? Are you surprised with Fold? Sound off in those comments. If you're interested in buying Fold 3 or Heck Duo 2 as well, there will be links to both in the description and probably in a pinned comment as well. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.